how to make snare belts like a pro. Okay, so in order to teach this, I am going to be using the 909 or 808 drum machine. Uh, usually this is how I make the snare belts for a lot of the deceiver packs, but then I switch out the snare for one of the ones I made or I use the 909 one, but it can get kind of boring quick. But if you're going to be learning and practicing, I suggest using the 909 kit, Man Shift M to create the MIDI channel. From there, 116, Command 2, make the grid bigger and just copy paste this across. Doom, 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 doom. There we go. Simple as that. And it literally is like this because now what you're going to get is this. The next thing that you can do from here is you can add a swing to this, which is going to pretty much grab the snare drums and change them. So if I commit this, you will be able to tell how it's doing it. So you're going to see some shift of notes. You're also going to see some velocities. If your groove profile that you selected has any form of velocity change, I chose to reduce it here in the groove pool where you can kind of control the swing parameter in terms of wetness, in terms of percentage. For instance, if I put this really high and I do this one more time again, you're going to see that the velocity changes also come with it. So sometimes you might want that. So this is going to be the first basic one. We're going to go four bars. I think that this track would benefit better from that. And we're just going to play it from here. From here, I am going to use the level here. I'm going to hold command shift to show the automation of it. And from here, we're just going to click at the end of this chain to make sure that's zero dB because we can always control the main volume with this guy, but we can never go back if we automate that. So don't be, don't be a dummy. Um, if you're following this channel, that means you mean business and we're going to do it the right way. So we're going to do this control where we start. I put it on the wrong one. We need this. We don't need this, brother. So we're gonna do that. Lower it. So this is next thing. Okay. From here, I'm gonna leave it like this so I can show you guys even more advanced stuff. Now, the EQ. I've impressed a lot of big producers and small. Um, with EQ work um, and the cool thing is that we can control this snare build like so as you can see so usually you can have the snare build stay that way or you can thin it out towards the end we're going to choose to thin it out we're going to again use our grids here command one command one make sure we are in the grid we're going to go one bar because at the end we are going to go from here all the way up to here use the grid size to make it faster Gonna increase the quadrant. So, as you can see, we, we, we're doing a lot here, but now the next thing we can do is we can also wash it out. So now we can start to use reverb and echo. Um, if you like Endless Smile, you can also use the Endless Smile. So let's input that in here. Uh, we can use Endless Smile, which is just a pretty much washout. There's the Bass Clef washout, which is a free download, but just be careful because he's going to try and recruit your, um, your butt. Um, but from there, we can use the washout. The other thing is signal flow is very important. If you don't know about signal flow already, again, subscribe, watch the channel. We're going to talk about all of this. But now, if I put the endless mob before that, it's the reverb itself is going to get the balloon effect, I call it, or the mm effect when you're in the toilet. So pretty much it's like you're, mm, you're feeling that effect, and you're going to see what, what I mean here. Mmm. And again, if, if you're doing this before a drop, you can do something like this. Check it out. I've impressed so many people with that technique there. And then there's more to add to that. But again, my, my thing is to set you guys down the path and you experiment. Make music, man. Don't just watch my videos. Make music. And come back, support your boy too, man. But make music. That's what you're learning. From there, if you want to be like Kashner, you can get crazy with the kind of um, things we are doing with, with the 909. This is why you picked the 909, because now you can definitely get more creative if you wanted to. 
for instance, you can have the snare build do that and the clap can s catch up to it. So what that means is you'll start with a clap. I think you guys already know where we're going with this, okay? And then uh, again, we're just gonna. I know there's a shortcut someone can tell me, but I'm gonna hold Alt, shouldn't do this. Use our grids, Command 2, get that thing big there. Mm -hmm. Just how we like it, Command D that across. And we don't have to hear the whole thing, let's just go to over here. I remember the shortcut, we're gonna divide it by two. Oh, yeah, you know what's up? Command D to cross. Oh my god. Okay, so now from here, some may be going, this is too generic, etc. But here's the thing, if, like, I'm teaching you how to fish, because all you have to do from here is change the damn rod, change the bait. So instead of catching jackfish off the pier at Huntington Beach, you can catch now some big ones, uh, you know, with West End out there in the deep end, in the ocean. You know, that's where John Summer got the inspiration. <laughs> in the deep end you're gonna catch a damn shark bro all right so um again that's that those are things that i'm trying to implement now when creating the drum fills and stuff you can also do what we did with the clap on the snare drum like you can increase the rate of it it's a lot less common nowadays i don't really hear it too much unless you're making big room but uh if you wanted to go down that route you would just bring this guy up and it's the same process we did can put the stadium claps across like this and I'm gonna have the snare drum again doing the 116s from there there's a new thing that I do want to talk about and that is velocity at the bottom you're gonna see the velocity of this and the cool thing about that is you can press B to uh, get into write mode and if you have writer's block well too bad but <laughs> I'm kidding but from their command uh, you can do this With the velocity, we're controlling the volume of the snare. So if I wanted to dembow, because dembow nunca muere, or never dies, that's what I'm saying. Um, we could do that dembow 16th rhythm. What that means is we dembow like this. Check it out. Dembow, I'm married now, but back in the day, boy, you know, all that we're going to do. There it is. And now you can see I can copy paste that. And now the, the rhythm is dictated by which one's the loudest. So that's another thing we can do with velocities. The link at me, Pedro. Because we're going to do some stuff we were going to regret. Whoop. And then, again, all of this I'm doing now, It's there's no theory. There's nothing to learn. It's just more of something that you do with experience or you heard it in a song. So then you do it. That's why it's so important. Again, watch the video. Practice. Have fun and, and experiment. You Let the brain flow. Don't judge what you're doing. Just let the brain flow. At times two that there's so much reverb right now bear with me though we're gonna remove it right now and then at the end divided by two command d that ball d nuts bro Man, that's some dembow right there, ain't it? 
But guys, it's super easy to make your own drums. Uh, the last thing I'll add here is a lot of people also like just the standard 16, which you can have, and then just apply um, a groove pull. So this is, I'm not going to lie to you, this is usually more of the common way that I make drum builds for most music, is like this, and then I'll apply a groove like a 1 uh, swing, and that creates a lot of cool movement for, for the sound. So for example, here, watch which you've heard in countless of songs. Again, think of automation. We can also automate stuff in here. For instance, we can automate the tone. Usually keeping it simple with drum builds and focusing on what's around it is also a cool idea. But from there, I'll make another video to supplement this one on what you can do around the snare build to get your build ups to sound a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Hopefully this gives you some hope, some some courage to make your own drum builds. The, the, the important thing here is, is that when you use the 909 core kit, you can always switch the drum. So if you have a snare in the track, you can use that snare. Or you can find one that fits better instead of being at the mercy of whatever sample packs you are using. Deceiver has some of the best snares out there. Make sure to support your boy. And other than that, if you want to continue your knowledge for it, consider watching this video and watch me arrange a song. Um, I use a loop for the snare build there, but now you can make your own and it's fast 16th boom little swing set to go